Hey Crofty, I am Lali and I'm here to help us make time for arts and crafts. Now I hope to inspire you to make time for your arts and crafts as well. Even the projects that you've started a long time ago and you just want to finish them. Now today we're going to do a jewellery makeover, something that I'm very excited about and I really hope that you enjoy it. So let's get into the video. So this is the jewellery that we're going to make over today. Very excited. Now, this is the little butterfly pendant on the necklace. And the necklace is a kind of brownish color now. It's not supposed to look like this. So this is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what it looks like now. Can you see the difference? It is a big difference. <laughs> To start the process, we are going to remove the pendant from the necklace. The jump ring linked to the pendant is actually too small for it to go off the necklace. So we will actually have to remove the jump ring from the pendant in order to remove it from the necklace. Really a process, I know. This is not an old necklace at all. I actually bought this for Christmas for my sister-in-laws and my mom-in-law. For me and then for my mother my cousin and my sister so this is the necklaces i'm talking about this is what i bought on sheen now hers was the yellow one and she made the mistake of swimming with it now plated jewelry or costume jewelry as they call it don't go well with chloride uh chlorine yeah the stuff you put in the swimming pool <laughs> and i can always count on my cousin to Take the jewelry into extreme circumstances. So she is actually the perfect person who really tests my jewelry to see whether it breaks, whether it's, you know, wearable. <laughs> there goes the jump ring. So happy that I could save the little butterfly. And then I can put away this sad necklace. Now I'm actually going to replace it with the silver. I think it's a silver plate that it's also bought from Sheen. But this silver necklace, I'm going to replace it with that. But we're going to put that aside for now. Now we're going to concentrate on the little butterfly. There's many ways that you can actually customize this little butterfly. But first we're going to just clean it up a bit to make sure that the surface that we're going to be working with is clean. Now here's my art supplies, my prime art brushes, my little palette my water cup and then I'm gonna use my prime art iris primary set acrylic paint from prime art so this is my favorite um, you know acrylic paint that I've used before and it feels professional it feels professional so today I'm just gonna use the blue and the white so that we can mix it together used it in a while so you can see this little gooey part here that I've removed and then I'm just going to start adding into my palette the blue color I decided at the time to do three blues so I wanted to do three different shades of blue and you're gonna ask me but Lolly, you're using so much blue already and that's not even gonna fit on the little butterfly like why are you wasting so much paint I do apologize in advance because I have wasted a lot of paint in this video Yeah, so now I started mixing the paint and I must say that the, the different shades of blue I had was beautiful but I should have only just done two shades of blue because yeah it's um, I basically ended up using more paint than I should have because it looked like these two shades were basically the same so then I kept on adding blue to the third one and then it still looked the same as the other one and then I added more blue so yes at this time watching this back I felt a bit frustrated because I used so many like so much paint and this prime paint is not the cheapest paint so I really wasted a lot of paint So 
So now I'm starting with the dark blue for the middle. So we can actually get some bit of a, a body for the butterfly. Just so that it is, you know, dark in the middle. And then we go lighter in the wings. Because I feel like that is a good way to interpret a butterfly. <laughs> So now I'm just slipping into the lightest blue on the palette and I'm just going to go from the butterfly's body to the wings, so basically in the middle. And I'm just going to accentuate the wings a bit, make some lines and just make it look a bit cool. Hey Crofty, I see you there. If you are enjoying this video so far, please boop the like button because that will really help our channel to uh, reach other people like yourself. Thank you. So here I'm dipping into the last uh, blue that I've mixed and I'm just accentuating the tips and the outside of the wings for the butterfly just to make it a bit darker. Um, so it goes from light to dark. So here's what the butterfly looks like so far. As you can see, it's light in the middle and then dark um, on the outside of the wings. Took a bit of the lighter blue and then just made it a bit wet with the water and then just dipped it onto the, um, the outside of the butterfly just to make it a bit lighter blue. Now we're starting with the necklace. We have to replace this brown necklace with the silver necklace and then we have to add the small jump rings on the ends of the necklace as well as the lobster clasp and then I have a bigger jump ring to add onto the butterfly. So here is everything that I'm going to add. There's the two small ones and then there's the butterfly itself. So I had to let it dry for a few minutes. Uh, it's dry now and, and now we can finish the necklace finally. Here's the before and the after. I absolutely love how it turned out. And my cousin absolutely loves this necklace. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So you don't know what to do next. Well, you can watch either this video or this video next.